It doesn't matter at all. It don't compare paper to paper. Don't say that this machine, the black color is more black than this one. Not valid. Okay? I don't I just see this paper in my hand. I don't compare it to any other black. Only the color which is here. Okay, once it's false, color is homogeneous. No any spot of the original color. You put your initials, you put the hospital name, department, autoclave number one or two, cycle number, it will be the cycle counter from here, your date, who's the supervisor, who's the operator, and then you say, yes, it's post and you sign. And then you put two holes here and you put it inside the log file of the machine. Why? Because this is for you to give to any kind of audit people, like infection control, like ISO, like if you have a thing. If you are seeing adaptation, GCI or whatever, they have to see the log file in each machine, they have to see the modules. And this is you keep it inside the system. Okay? So once it pass, it's okay. Now if it fails, what you will do? You will do it again. One time only. If it's fail, you will do it again. If it pass, it's okay. If it fail, the machine switch off. You don't have to do anything. Call the service engine. Maybe there's leakage, maybe the blood can bump, there's problem, maybe the basket, a lot of things which can cause air to go inside the chamber and only engineers can fix it. And I'm sorry to say this, if you have problem with the body test, please give time for the service engineer because he's checking for a very small leakage and it takes a lot of time, especially if the machine is hot. When I used to be service engineer, this is the worst cold ever. I got a lot of burns. I have to wait, I have to do trials. Maybe it will take two, three days. If it is not a lesson. Because the first thing you will do, you change the lesson. But again, if it's failing, the boiling test is really in a trouble. And he has to check maybe only one, he has to do like this one. To discover which, you can say, if he has to time it, it will take a lot of time. So please be patient if the boiling test is failing. Okay, I use this one, if it is timed for this kind of machine because this is hydrogen peroxide cannot be used with cellulose material because if hydrogen peroxide will touch this one, we come to hydrogen peroxide later. Chemical indicator, class 5, class 4, class 6, they are indication for sterilization. But unfortunately, a service technician, sorry, a CSSD technician, you cannot see it unless it's in pouch. But else, you cannot see it. It's not for you. We call, we call it pack control. It will go with the pack. So the surgeon or the OR nurse will see this, but you will not see it. The only people who do things and cannot taste it, you are doing the cook, you are doing the meal, but you are not tasting it. Somebody else is tasting it for you. And this will cause a lot of trouble. You, you do your work and you pack it, you cannot see it, and you send it somewhere else. You cannot open it, you cannot test it. That's why you are using this kind of test. Okay? So you put this inside the pouch or inside the pouch or inside the bag or inside the container. And this is an indication when it goes to the surgeon that you did your work and the items inside are still. Why? Because it has to meet all parameters of the site. We call it multi-parameter indicator. So it means temperature and exposure time and in other kinds of things, like the integrator, it needs also all parameters like pressure and many parameters. Okay? So, class 4, class 5, class 6, it's up to you. Okay? The more the class, the more accurate is the result. Okay? 74% is the accuracy of the class 4, 85% is the accuracy of class 5. 94% is the accuracy of class 6. 96 part, time and temperature of the sterilization phase. Again, 74, 85, 94. These are the accuracy of the indicators plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. Of type 4, type 5, type 6. Okay? And the boarding test, we call it class 2 chemical indicator or special test. So, exposure. Type 1, exposure, this one and this one here is exposure. Type 2, type 4 is chemical indicator, this is type 5, and there's another chemical indicator for type 6. What is the 
difference between type 4, 5, and 6 there. Okay? Another thing which you have here inside the CS machine, this is a seed check. You put it here and you put seal on it. And then you check this black color if there's any kind of, you can say, bubbles. Because the black color will make it very useful. Or, I love this one. This is what we call it the ink. Integration to make the seed here and you get this one, open it and put the ink here. If the ink will migrate down, it means that we have a problem either freedom, which is most probably for the seed. The pressure of the food is for the seed. Okay? This is very, very good to explain. And believe me, very big means you will find that. No, that's not this is what keep your work or maintain your work well. Okay, what is the policy we have here inside the hospital? If items are sterile, they are valid for three months or six months? Six months, uh, six? Six, six months. Okay. Some hospitals they have it time related, like a hospital, six months, and some hospitals they have what we call it event related. Which means items which are sterile will remain sterile forever. Unless there is event happening, which means tearing in the wrapping material, maybe, maybe the humidity inside the spiral store went up, so it compromised the wrapping material as barrier, and so on. Okay? So either it's event related or time related, this is the policy according to the infection control. Okay? The third test we do inside the CSSD, other than the indicators, okay, and the Moody test, the chemical indicator, the Moody test in this biological indicator. What is here? Spores, exactly. It's not bacteria, it's spores. Why? Yeah. Because bacteria will kill the bacteria. I'm not sure we kill bacteria. We kill the bacteria. And what is the type of spores here? Geo. Geo. I will state something like four years to pronounce it. Okay, you have a Okay, what is the count? Almost one million. Ten to the power of five or ten to the power of six. Where we have them? This small, very small paper. They are deactivated, so they cannot cause any kind of, you can say, uh, infection for you. Okay? And what I have here in this capsule, this liquid, this, this is bottle, this sorry, container, and another container is inside. What I have here in this violet color is food for the bacteria. And a material which will change its color. And inside. I will tell you everything. Okay? Now I have here Jim Sella Sterile Thermophilus. I have here bacteria. You put this is inside the sterilization cycle. Steam will go inside here. Steam will go and it will kill the spores here on the paper. Okay? This is the right, you can say, action or the right scenario. Okay? So if it is killed, you get it out, you crash it, and then you have dead bacteria or dead spores. And then you have food. And you put it in a media which is 55, 56 degrees. So if I still have spores here, it will grow. If I still have spores, it will grow. And when it will grow, you remember the old technique, this, if it will grow, it will change acidic. Because it's living organism, organic. It will change acidic, this will change color to yellow. This is the old technique. In the new technique, there is an enzyme here which will react to the bacteria and I can catch this reaction with this incubator. That's why we call it reader, not incubator. The one which is there for under 90 inch of pain. Okay? So this is the mechanism of action. So if this go inside the machine, it must not change color or it must not give any indication on the biological indicator or biological reader that there is any kind of biological growth. Because if there is biological growth, then this machine didn't kill spores. Because if it will kill spores here, it will kill spores on the instance. It, does, it doesn't kill spores here, it 
for not kill spores on your instruments. And this is the third test we do as CSF definition on this program. So it's chemical indicator, biological indicator, and room test. Can we use one only without the other two? What is the most effective test? Is the biological indicator, chemical indicator, or room test? What is it? All of them are important. You cannot, you cannot miss one. All of them are very important. You cannot say, ah, oh, my chemical indicator is passing, I want to biological indicator. You cannot say, ah, oh, my OED test is not passing, but the biological test and the chemical indicator is passing, so I will release the load. You are not allowed. So the three tests has to pass that you have a load which you can, you can say, process and give it to the whole. Okay? So, biological indicator, chemical indicator, and booty test. According to the recommendation from CDC, this has to be done weekly, preferably daily, and in every implant. So that's why all the time you are searching for the most fast biological indicator, so you release the load fast and give it to the OR, especially if it does any kind of implant. So that's why it was 48 hours, 24 hours, and then 3 hours, and then 1 hour, and then sometimes even now 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> I will tell you that this is the American school. This is the American school. Okay. Europe, they're not using this. This is for engineers. They're not using this. They don't trust biology or chemistry. They are trusting physics. There are two different standards. One is EM, one is American. Exactly. So European standards are entirely different what we are using. We are using actually now all our American, American standards. It's American standards. To get your knowledge about some European standards, they don't use chemical indicators or biological indicators at all. They use, they use engineers. <laughs> <laughs> they shift from this kind of things to engineers. So, okay, here you are imitating the load. You are trying to make something you can say it's similar to what you want to kill. I want to kill spores, okay, spores are here. I want to, to, to time and temperature, this is checking time and temperature. Europe, they are not doing this. They are validating the machine, they don't care. They are validating the machine. And to validate the machine, it will take two days for each cycle to validate. And how they do this with thermocouples. So they stick thermocouples inside the lumens on the instruments. Check the distribution of the heat inside the chamber. Okay? Check the, the weight of the instruments before and after to check the dryness. And a lot of tests, almost 16 tests done on the machine in two days. And once it is done, it's it, you have to have quality control in the hospital. They sign the quality of the validation. The person has to come has to be a uh, certified. Uh, sterilizer and washer validated with validated equipment and it's taking a lot of money, honestly. Okay, and nobody's doing it in the Middle East. Nobody is doing it in the Middle East. I have to actually try on It's not available in the Middle East. If you find it in the Middle East, you will find somebody from oil and uh, gas uh, section and they will come and put some kind of sensors inside the machine and they will tell it for okay. No, we are not doing this. We get your instruments and put them couples on the instruments. Okay, and sometimes this test will tell you that, I'm sorry, this instrument cannot be sterilized. Exactly. Throw it. It cannot be sterilized. You know the handle with the plastic handle? The nylon handle which comes for the disposable. Most of the places, especially I've seen in India, they start using that reusable because it cannot be affordable for the patient and insurance cannot be well. So they start using it. So they do steam sterilizing. Actually, it can be done with plasma. But it is a disposable item. But still, we do it as for the patient's sake and you know, for the hospital side. Sometimes we don't get the material. So there is a lack of shortage, so they don't get. So we, we do that one also. So in that case, it cannot be that that instrument is validated. The, the validation of that one, it will very pass. clearly tell that it will not pass. The cycle will take. But that's what which they do in the UK. I want just to say no, the cycle will end, but the sterilization will fail. 
Exactly. Why? Because you put the thermocouple here on the handle, it will not reach 134, then it's not still on. And who will catch this thermocouples and engineers? Not biological indicator, because the biological indicator is just in other places in the chamber. Chemical indicator will change color. So this is validation. And when you do validation, quality control, and you don't change anything, because if you do consequence, consistent, sorry, if you do things the same, then you'll have consistent results. And this validation is done every six months. So every temperature, the time and the temperature, how it is calculated on the instrument. Once you pack the instrument and we load it on the chamber, the time and the temperature has to reach the instrument once we open, and the penetration has to reach here everywhere. But as he was talking about the nylon handle, the time is not dedicated for that to reach up to the penetration. So the automatically that will get failed. Any instrument, any surgical instrument, it is on bed. Again, it is any kind of uh, biofilms on the instrument. The instrument, the sterilizer will pass, but the instrument is failed. How? Because there is a biofilm on that one. Yes. The temperature is not reached to the instrument yes. because the biofilm it will it, it accumulated at that time. So it, it did not go after the bio, bio, biofilm. So there is a failure of the instrument. That's what washing is very very important in this CSRD to make sure that every sterilization point and the temperature, time and the temperature is on the instrument. Right? Sir? Right. Especially also lumens. Special elements because it has a dominant device. It has the steam has to penetrate from one end to other end. The time of the sterilization which we have is only four minutes of the exposure time. So that in that particular time, the entire process has to go ahead. Sometimes if this kind of biofilms are there on the instrument, that particular time it cannot be succeeded. So I will tell you, this I will tell you, when you open the... I will tell you. Another thing, this is a biological indicator when you put it inside the machine, you put it with load, maybe with double pouch. Is this equivalent to broker, which is maybe this long and it got room inside? No, it's not. It's not. It's very easy to figure out. In my 25 years career, I met twice failure of biological indicators. Twice in my life. 25 years in two times. Two times. And you know what was happening the two times? One time they didn't wait for the for the biological indicator to cool down and they crack it. But when it was cracked while it was hot, the the fluid boiled and it made the filter wet. Overflow. So bacteria come came from inside, from outside. So. The second time they crash it very very deep and the plastic outside, because this is not plastic anymore, but before it was plastic, the plastic was cracked by the gloss inside. And that's why also bacteria went from inside. But in my whole life, I didn't see a biological indicator failure because of the machine. Because of the machine, even in the Not even once in my life. And I've seen once there was a failure, it was a wrongly process. The indication was not crushed. This is I. You got the background from outside. Where I found that the is not crushed. So the process is it got better. But second thing, most of the time, the incubator is a very, very important, sir. If you are using one, one four two one, the incubator has to be the same. I'm using 3M, I cannot use any other brand of the biological indicator. That will not substitute the incubator. There will be a failure hundred percent. The, 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 the vendors might come and they will compromise themselves. This is same indicator, same size, everything. But no, it will not at all happen. If this is uh, 3F, we have to go with the 3F. If this is a Terragen, we have to go with the Terragen. If this is GKE, we have to go with the GKE. This is the world's the top three brands now, which is using for the balance. There is no other competitive. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. I'm already into that one. I've seen. Where is anything else is going from? But still. We need to be very, very careful of the incubation. It's not only the process in what sir is telling, it is the process of incubation, how you do the incubation. That is the main matter, then only really you get the results of this. As you told, in 25 years, you never see this. even I did not see the failure of this. But I see the failure of wrong processing, wrong incubation, placement of wrong. There is a lot of things. In that one, I have seen the failure. And once we come and do again, redo this biological, it is path. And it is success. So that is what. So mostly, as he was telling that 
we don't actually believe this one also. There is something called class 6 indicator, which is compatible with heavy evil talk again. That, that, that one will be the more complicated for this one. Class 6, but the main problem is the class 6 that you have to select the indicator according to the cycle. So, as an example, that if I have here that goes 134, uh, it is 134 four minutes. So, I have to purchase plus six chemical indicator 134 degrees four minutes. Because there is in the market seven minutes, it's put the seven minutes to fit. So, you have to be very precise. If I use 121, 16 minutes, I have to use another chemical indicator. It's very precise. As I said, the accuracy of the class 6 chemical indicator is 94 percent, class 5 84, 85 percent, class 4 74 percent. Okay? So, this is the sterilizer. At the beginning of the day, but by the way, this machine, you can be at home and the machine can start the cycle right at home before you come here. So, we have hibernate and woke up cycle that it can heat up itself, not a cycle, not a sterilization cycle, but heat up cycle while you are still at home, you come here. Maybe 8 o'clock, you find that this machine is ready for the building test. So, this is featured in this machine, which will save around 45 minutes of your day. Okay, what is the most critical thing in the CSSD after you do your work right? What is the most critical parameter inside the CSSD? If you do everything right, like the items are wrapped, sterile, and everything, what is the most critical you can say? Parameter inside the CSSD. Time. Why time? If you are processing the instruments in two hours, the whole instruments in two hours, okay, you can serve more patients and purchase this instrument. Okay? And purchase less sterilizers. As an example, do you see this machine? How fast it is? You are amazed, right? I'm amazed at this. 19 minutes loading test, full cycle. This is which machine? Is this? 6610 test. This is 13. What, 35 minutes? Cycle? Yeah, 21 minutes. With drag? Complete. See? This machine can do three times if you have a machine doing it in one hour. So, one machine, maybe it's more expensive than any other machine in the market. But why this is for biomedical engineers? Look at the time of the cycle. This machine in one hour can do three cycles if you purchase a machine which do a cycle in one hour. Okay? What is the most critical problem here in the CSSD that people are hammering the CSSD manager? Where are my instruments? Where is my tray? Where is my tray? Where it is now? I need it now. I need it now. Why? Because they need more patients. I'm uh, have to <laughs> Okay? The problem is that everything now is for money. Let's be honest. Okay? We are doing everything because commercially we have to get money. I'm getting, I have to take money from you to make R&D and to give salaries and to get profit. You are a hospital, you have to make profit. We all have to make profit. If we not make profit, we're out of business. Full stop. Right? So to make profit, you need things to be fast. You need to have less operational cost. But people, when they are purchasing machines, they only look at one thing, which is not correct. They look only on the purchase cost. I'm talking not about to, to my medical engineers. The purchase cost. This is the most expensive sterilizing amount. I know. I know. We are more expensive than sterilizing. Yes. Very expensive. I know. Okay? But what is your output? Here, you have two machines. You will not need another one if you add two other OLs. Three OLs. This will take the load. Okay? This will make your instruments more fast. You purchase this instrument from instruments manufacturer, which is the main investment of the hospital. It's not the machine. You have purchased one for 20 years. Maybe this machine was 20, 15 years, I don't know. But the instruments are changing it every two years, three years, and getting more because they are getting more surgeons. But if you have machines, Washer and sterilizer, which can process and instead of four hours the full cycle in two and a half hours, you can serve double the patient, take double the money. And instead of each OR can take four patients per day, they can take six and eight. Okay, and put in consideration also 
the running cost of the machine, consumption of water and consumption of electricity. And Gatinga is one of the least consumption of water in the world. So yes, we are experts in the We are facing a very hard time these days because of our price. But please look at the most important parameter. All machines are sterilizing. If it is benefit, if it is getting it, the stairs, all of them are sterilizing. Well, I have certificates saying this. All of us are still, there is no, you can say, worry at all that if you get any of these manufactured, you must sterilize. But put into consideration money. Money. Okay? So when I came here, boss said that this is terrible machine, it got booster. See how he's happy because it's finished the cycle fast? Because if you don't have the booster tank, it will take one hour, five minutes. He's happy because it's fast. Okay? And commercially, when it is fast, you are happy from the income you are doing from the OR when you have fast machines. No manufacturer will compromise the sterilization. I cannot stand here and say, no oh, machine is sterilizing, the competitors are not sterilizing. It's me a very faulty, you can say, statement. All of them are seeking more the FDA. I'm not here to judge anyone, but I'm talking about things people have to take into consideration. We are here for profit. This machine can make a lot of profit other than other things. Okay? So let's talk again about operation. This machine we have here the source of steam, and in this case, the source of steam is built in a steam generator. So I have here built in a steam generator. Okay, if this is 13, then the steam generator is 50 kilowatts. Okay, and it has to operate at 2.7 to 3 volts. And then this is the pressure of the chamber because there is no cycle, so it is zero. This is a <laughs> four inch printer, which is not the standard, this is option. The two inch is the standard, this is the print holes in the back. So it's printing the back for you. Okay. And this is 10 inch touch screen of both sides as a standard in heading. And then you have here six cycles as a standard. There are extra cycles that you need from heading. And you send them the cycle at the beginning of the day, you open the machine. So this is when I come from home, the machine is, the door is closed. It has to be closed all the time. Unless I'm holding the machine, so the door is closed. At the beginning of the day, I will come, okay? I will check the pressure of the water, if it's HD or 